You can create different SSL VPN portals using the SSL VPN realms. So let's see how we do that. Creating SSL VPN realms is a great solution if you want to segment different SSL VPNs to different users with different needs and different authorization levels. So the very first step that you will need to do is to move to System Feature Visibility and enable SSL VPN realms and SSL VPN personal bookmarks. All right. Now let's move to users and create three groups. We will create three SSL VPN realms. The first one will be for the finance division. So let's just enter a new user group and enter the finance member. All right, the second one will be for the marketing division. All right, the marketing user. And the third one will be for the managers. And here's the manager user. All right, so now we have three user groups. Let's move to VPN and SSL portals. And let's create three new portals for our users. So the first one will be managers. We will not use tunnel mode, we will only use web mode. And if we wish to enable them to create their own bookmarks, we will enable the user bookmark. All right, so let's just end it. And let's create another one for the finance division. Disable tunnel mode, enable user bookmarks. And the third one is for marketing. All right, so we have three groups. We have three different portals. And the next thing to do is to move to SSL VPN uh, Realms and create the portal path. So the string that we will add up here is actually added to the default SSL VPN portal. So it can be uh, managers, it can be finance, it can be marketing. Let's do it now. So let's just enter finance. Let's limit concurrent users to 10. And you can also customize the login page using uh, the HTML markup, but we will not do that. All right, so let's just disable that. And let's create another realm um, for the managers. And here for the managers, we will allow 20 concurrent users. And the last one is for marketing. And here we will limit it to 15 users. All right, so we have our realms. And now let's move to SSL VPN settings. We will listen on our WAN interface, which is on port one. We have changed the port, the default port is 443, so we will use 10443. So that's the URL, that's the default SSL VPN URL, which is HTTPS and your WAN IP, IP address and the port you will add up slash and the string for the different divisions. Now we will need to map different portals to different realms. So let's create new. So our first user group is the finance. We will specify the finance realm and the finance portal. The second one will be our managers. There it is. Okay. And the third one is our marketing division. So let's just map them to their specific portals. All right. The last thing to do, let's just apply that. The last thing to do is to create our SSL VPN policy 
let's um, let's name it SSL. The outgoing interface is our port one. Source will be all with the different groups that we're handling. So we will not use a specific destination. And you can, of course, apply any security profile. All right, so let's apply that. And let's move to our Ubuntu device. And there we have it. That's our finance portal. So let's just uh, use the finance. You know what? Let's use another username. So we will just be sure that everything works well. So that's the manager username. That's uh, permission denied. So let's use our real username, which is finance. And let's log in. And there we have it. So let's move back to our 48 and dashboard SSL VPN monitor. Let's refresh it. And we can see that we have a connection to our finance portal. So let's just end that session. And let's move back to our Ubuntu device. And now let's use, let's use, um, let's use marketing. And here we have it, marketing and don't save it. And that's our marketing portal. Let's refresh our SSL VPN monitor. And there it is. So this was a beginner's guide to SSL VPN realms. You can, of course, use tunnel mode SSL VPN. You can use web mode. There are different die commands that will help you to monitor and troubleshoot your SSL VPN connections. Uh, maybe we will look at that at different video.